What's up, guys? So today we're making Melina from Elden Ring, the character creator of Dragon's Dogma 2. And I think it turned out pretty well. I did check some sliders that people made of her, and I just adapted to make it more to my liking or the way I see Melina. So let's start. So first things first, for the body, you want to go for 171 centimeters, which is her height. It's canon. The torso length, 65. The muscle type, use 23, so she doesn't really show. Uh, we can't really see actually in the game if she has muscle, if she's defined or not. So decided to go with that. Muscle strength, 50. Trap size, minus 20. And the upper body muscle mass, minus 9. Lower body muscle mass minus 29 and the upper body size minus 55 and lower body size 10 so she is pretty lean as you can see here now moving for the head the head size it didn't change it's such a zero length 15 width minus 15 uh, depth 30 Face height 21, neck length 5, and the neck thickness minus 10. Now the upper body, we went with shoulder width 10, the size minus 74, chest thickness minus 34, chest size I went with 100, because why not? Chest shape 64, chest height 50, Torso width minus 100, torso depth minus 30, arm length minus 25, arm size 44, and the upper arm thickness 30, and the forearm thickness 57. On the lower body, the waist width minus 50, waist size minus 20, and the rest just left to zero, didn't change the wear size or anything else here. Now the posture, left it at zero, elbow angle minus 30, the knee angle minus 20, and the posture itself 16. Now for the head, the base head we used was 23. So this one, here, 23. A skin color, I decided to go with five. I think it's more clean. And uh, I mean, without freckles or anything, because Melina doesn't seem to have those. And she has really fair skin. So I went with the skin color 5. Wrinkles 0. And the skin chain 26. Brow. The brow height 0. Brow spacing 40. Brow depth overall minus 25. The brow depth inner 11. And brow depth outer minus 20. Brow angle 30 and the bend is 0. Now the eyes, which is I think the most important part of Melina apart from the hair. Uh, the eye height minus 25, the eye width 75, eye depth minus 50, eye size 40, eye angle 25, and then of course we have the left eye closed. If you get the the flame ending in Elden Ring. She will have a different eye color. I don't want to spoil that. Uh, and but I want to. I wanted to leave this eye closed. It's one of her signatures, especially with the tattoo in the eye, the claw. Now the right eye is open, and it's, it's a squint to one hundred. On the nose, nose length thirty, bridge width minus seventy. Bridge height minus 10, bridge bump overall minus 25, the upper minus 60, and the lower minus 90. Now the nostril size minus 29, the nostril height 20, and the nostril width minus 100. Now the tip, it's minus 30, the depth, the angle minus 19, and the sharpness 19. Her, her nose is not that sharp, and it's quite small. 
the ears we can't really see her ears so i didn't change anything here but just in case you want to to know the settings i put the sliders so the style is none size minus 10 angle 30 and the rest are set at zero it won't really matter because you won't see her her ears now the cheeks uh cheek and neck thickness 24 cheek bulge zero neck fat minus 75 so if you compare to millennia in the game you'll see that she has no neck fat at all the cheek height 10 cheek width minus 60 and the cheek depth minus 90. the mouth the mouth here is still a little bit bigger than it is in other ring but i could not make it look smaller or thinner so the height is zero the width is minus 30 uh, protrusion 10 mouth corners minus 80 lip thickness is minus 100 and i left the lower lip position to 20. if you reduce the lower lip position it will look like it's thinner from here but it's actually going inwards the lower part so if you look like this it looks a little bit weird so i like to set it at 20 looks a little bit better even though it's not that that thin now the jaw the jaw definition 90 jaw width minus 70 the jaw position 40 the jaw protrusion minus 100 and the chin height 30 wide zero so her chin is pretty narrow chin protrusion 30 and the chin sharpness 40. And moving on to the hair i think this is the hairstyle that most suited her it's not perfect but it's good enough to resemble melina so we went with the fourth hairstyle the root color 48 and the tip color 58 it looks quite good i would say the root or tip blend uh, blend 60 shin position 50 and the shin 19. so if we change this you will see that the tip is less affected in here it's not really the the best one so we leave it at 60. Now the eyebrow the shape is the third one the color is 23 thickness 80. now the eye so for the eye color uh, i left it the same color for both eyes but if you want to have different eye colors just click here on the top uh, i went with the type one if you want you can use type two as well it looks pretty good i think both work for her but I prefer type 1. You don't use any color presets. That the iris primary color use 86. The secondary 95. And the tertiary use 90. The sclera I left to 107. If you want you can make it lighter. You can use white if you want. Which is the 16th color. But I like 107. Iris size 0 and the purple size minus 25. She has a pretty small purple. The eyelashes type 2, color 1 on both, the, the root and the tip. Uh, root and tip blend 0, length 85, and density 50. Eyeshadow, we use the third eyeshadow, the eyeshadow color 114 and color 215. Eyeshadow intensity 70, eyeshadow coverage 50, eyeshadow opacity 30, eyeshadow metallic 30. The eyeshadow sheen 55. Now the eyeliner, I use the 5, color 1, the coverage 20, eyeliner opacity 50, metallic 0, and the sheen 40. 
Now, freckles, she does not really have any freckles. So it won't affect anything. You just type one, color one, and you can see here the opacity. If I change it, it doesn't really do anything to her skin. Now the cheeks, no changes in the cheeks. Just leave it to style one. The color won't matter because nothing is changing. And that's about it. Opacity 46, metallic zero, and chain 50. But since we didn't use any style, it won't affect in her cheeks. Now the lips, we use type 5, color 44, the lip color spread 100, opacity 30, metallic 30, and the lip sheen 100. And then the teeth, <laughs> we didn't do anything with her teeth. If you want, of course, you can remove them. I don't think she looks very good without any teeth. Color left to seven, so white. And that's about it here. Now the last part, uh, this one, you can use the same set preset or you can try to use different tattoos. I think this one is the one that fits the best. So you have to use two tattoos. And to do that, you have to click on the top here, Edit Tattoo 2. But let's go with the first first. So the style is 52. You can see right there. Color 53, the primary color. The secondary and tertiary color, color I went with black. Vertical position, 52. Horizontal position, 10. Rotation, minus 24. Overall scale 3, vertical scale 3, horizontal scale 3. The vertical tilting 1, horizontal tilting 1, opacity 100, intensity metallic 0, and sheen 50. Now the second tattoo, we are using the style 45. So it's the one that will go here on the top of her eye. The primary color 53 as well, secondary and tertiary color 1. Now the vertical position is 54, horizontal position 7, rotation 3, the overall scale 1, vertical scale 2, horizontal scale 4, the vertical tilting 1, so we don't have to tilt it, horizontal uh, piling 1. Vertical tiling, sorry. Uh, opacity 100, intensity 0, metallic 0. Now the sheen is 50, and that's about it. So here, let's use some different lighting so you can see how she looks. I really like the way this turned out. And yeah, that's about it. I decided to go with Mage for her. Kind-hearted and the voice sweet for her. So that's it. If you enjoyed the video, if you try to recreate Melina and you want to share, uh, make sure to join our Discord, hit the like button, and if you want to support the channel, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.